let's dive into a topic that's been pretty popular lately, which is new champion balance. When we look at the data, we actually see that new champions have been pretty balanced on release this year, with the exception of Dr. Mundo. If we're being completely honest, we don't think our champions have overloaded kids overall. Yikes. Riot admitting to Mundo being OP is like a murderer pledging guilty on robbing someone. They are throwing Mundo under the bus just so they don't have to address the war crime that is Viego. Hey everyone, I'm Brightman, the lead producer of gameplay on League of Legends. League is like a house. Sometimes we need to do a big renovation to keep it working well, like when we overhauled the item system. That was more like a new household than a renovation. It's still the same house, you just kicked out all our loved ones and said, this is your new family. So we're going to be adding some new items and tweaking some others. This will include two new mythic items. The first one is a support tank item, perfect for champions that want to get aggressive and charge into the middle of a fight. When you immobilize an enemy champion, all nearby enemies will take increased damage from your team for a short period of time. So kind of like Imperial Mandate, but only with hard CC and an aura instead of a single target. Okay, I'm here for it. The second new mythic item is built for mages, who are looking for a little more survivability. It grants damage reduction that lingers for a few seconds after you get hit. Damage reduction? Boy, that looks like damage immunity! He just ate that talent combo for breakfast! And he still got Zonyas after that. Tanks that can never get enough mana will be happy with a new legendary item that grants bonus health based on total mana, and also burn some of it to create a shield whenever they immobilize an enemy. That new tank item was already confirmed to be Fimble Winter. I'm so hyped for that item, I already have an Udia build idea that I'm gonna do with this. Finally, mages who are tired of being denied their hard-earned kills can rejoice. They'll be receiving a new legendary that grants magic pen against recently shielded enemies. So basically an ability power Serpent's Fang. Guess that means Tyler can stop building Serpent's Fang on Annie. Most of all, we feel the Inspiration Tree's identity has been pretty unclear. What's unclear to me is how your eyebrows dance like that. For example, we're reworking Glacial Augment to double down on its fantasy of slowing down enemies. Glacial Augment now works on hard CC abilities. Yikes, that's cancer. But at least people will play it now. Finally, let's talk about our biggest addition this preseason, dragons. Look at that smile. He's so excited to be talking about the dragons. We really like how each dragon creates unique terrain, grants powerful buffs, and adds more strategy to the mid and late game. So this preseason, we're adding two more. Up first is the Hextech Dragon. When your team defeats it, you'll all gain additional ability haste and attack speed. And if you claim the soul, you'll receive a chain slow that works kind of like Static Shiv's passive. When this dragon takes over the rift, it creates Hextech gates that can transport you to set locations across the map. The second dragon joining the party is Hextech's darker sibling, the Chemtech Drake. When you slay it, your team will deal increased damage when your HP is low, letting you turn around those close team fights. This dragon soul provides a second chance at life. Well, sort of. When you die, you'll enter a zombie state, where you can still cast abilities and continue fighting. So every champ can get a Cyan passive now. I can picture the team fights so clearly already. Players will build Guardian Angel on top of this, and it's gonna be like back in the day when Aatrox had two revives. Challenges rank up over time, showcasing your increasing mastery and legacy across a bunch of different systems, modes, and gameplay, making it a little different than just a standard achievement. We want to highlight not just your rank and champion mastery, but also your inventiveness, breadth of play styles, collection, and everything else in between. Bro, what the hell am I looking at? This feels like one of these mobile ads where the player's getting stupid amounts of loot. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you're enjoying Worlds as much as we are. And for any pros watching, once again, please pick a Moo Moo. Please pick a Moo Moo. Oh man, even she couldn't deliver that line without cringing. Look at that painful smile.
Well anyway, despite my comments, I'm actually looking forward to the new season. Thank you for watching my take on the preseason teaser and let me know what you think about the changes. Lego Yoda, I am. Subscribe, you will. Or steal your firstborn, I must.